Rhoda from the West Springfield Public Library. Today we are talking about electricity and electrical circuits. We all use electricity throughout the day. It turns on our lights, it heats our houses, it powers our computers and our phones, and it makes our car run. And it's all around us. Electricity is also in the natural world. Marine life, like electric eels, catch fish using electricity. They produce up to 800 volts. Sharks, lampreys, catfish, they also use a form of electricity to see in dark places. And of course there's the weather, like lightning. That is so powerful it can melt sand into glass when it strikes. Did you know your own bodies also produce electricity? Every time we move a muscle, it's the result of an electrical signal being sent from our brains to the muscles telling them to move. We actually have a complex system of nerves throughout our body that use electrical signals to control everything we do. Electricity is a type of energy that involves an electrical charge. Electricity is the flow of tiny particles called electrons. They're not just smaller than atoms, they're actually part of atoms. Electrons are tiny particles that flow around the outside of the atom. Electrons are able to jump from one atom to another. Things that let electricity go through them easily are called conductors. Materials like water and metal are excellent conductors. And that's why you don't want to be in the water during a thunderstorm. And since our bodies are made up mostly of water, we are also good conductors of electricity. Things that don't let electricity flow through them very well is called insulators. Items like rubber and plastic are good insulators. Resistors are something that's in between a conductor and an insulator. For an electric current to happen, there must be a circuit. A circuit is a closed path or loop for which the electricity current flows. Electricity can travel by a flow of electrons through a wire, but there's actually two different ways that electrons move within the wire. They are called currents. Like the ocean current that moves in a definite direction, electricity has specific moment, movements that it makes in the wires. These currents are called alternating current or direct current. What we're going to work with today is called direct current. With DC current, electrons move in one direction, from a negative to a positive. So let's say we're looking at a current with a light bulb, like the, our project today. As noted, direct current flows from a negative to a positive, and then an on or off switch acts as a gate for that electron flow. So when it's on, the circuit is complete, allowing the electrons to flow. And after passing through the switch, the electrons flow into the light bulb. The filament in the light bulb lights up, taking the charge from the electrons, which are then drawn to the positive terminal on the battery to be charged once again. This process continues until the battery eventually loses its charge. And if the flow is broken, it's called an open circuit because there is no electricity that can run through that continual path. Now, warning, electricity can be dangerous. There is enough power in a wall socket to cause you serious harm. So don't put anything but a plug into a socket. Make sure there's an adult around always when you're working with electricity. In your package, you should have your card, which you can color however you want. On the back will be the template that you will be using, a button battery, a piece of copper tape, and your little light. We are making an open circuit in this particular case. You'll see that we are not putting copper tape here. There's an opening. We're going to put the copper tape here so that when we fold over the card by pushing it down it completes the connection and that was what will light up our card. So the negative battery will be placed down because we have a negative light here, a negative sign here. 
that's where our negative pin is going to go and our positive side is going to go on this side so it's going to go negative side of the battery copper foil space copper foil up and around the corner into the negative pin of the light the other side positive pin of the light copper foil all the way over and that's going to end up on the top of the battery the positive side of the battery which will make our connection so we've placed more copper tape on the opposite side of the card so when the card is closed the area pressing it will create the closed connection so the electrical current can flow freely lighting up the card also our little lights here this is the little light that we're working and you'll see that one of I'll do it that way so you can see it one of the wires coming out of the filament is longer than the other the longer filament is always the positive charge so let's try this you've got your button battery you've got your light if we connect the positive side of the wire with the positive side of the battery let's see what we get do this so that you can actually see the light you ready there you go and you can touch this this is not going to burn you go ahead you can try this at home as well if for some reason you had put the negative side the short side with the positive side of the battery it just doesn't work but the other way around it's almost like you can do magic so we're going to start off with this card as you can see the, I put a couple little dots there but that is where we're going to put our little light go <laughs> so we're going to take that positive side of the wire and we're going to slide it through like so I put a couple little holes there earlier and we're going to separate the wires so they follow along and the longer wire is on the positive side that little plus side the next thing we need to do is have conductive material in this case this is copper wire or excuse me copper foil that has a sticky back on it makes it a lot easier we will separate the sticky and we want to make sure stick it on this side right over the top of that wire we want to make sure that we don't break the copper wire we don't want to break it so when we get to a corner we're going to follow along the line we're just going to bend it we're not going to break it if for some reason yours breaks yeah, I'd put something over the top so we're just going to bend that you see that and just follow it down and then do the same thing we're going to bend it a little bit on the corner make a little corner there we go and when we get to the end I'm going to actually take just a little bit this is easy to break with your, your fingers. So I'm going to take a little bit and just break it. And this is going to be just going to flip it over there just a little bit just to give us some room. This is where, do you see the positive battery? That is going to go on top because the positive needs to connect to the positive. Now we need to do the other side. The negative. The negative, again, make sure that the little wire connects. There we go. Stick it in there a little bit. You can bend the wire down a little bit just so that the foil and the wire meet. Get to the corner. Fold the corner like so. 
Now we're doing it this way. We're just going to break it right there and continue here. There we go. So now we know that the positive goes to the top, the positive. The negative goes to the bottom, the negative. And now this little piece over here, we're going to take what we have left and we're just going to fill that in because that's the way we're going to have a closed connection. Because when we fold it over, these will connect with that and they should, if I did it the right way, make it light up. Let's see if we did it. Uh, not quite. All right, so we're missing some type of a connection issue here. We'll double check on that. This one didn't work, and I have figured out why. If you notice, I ended up having to move my tape over because when I was folding it, it didn't quite line up. Actually, if you look up to the light there see now it's connected and it wasn't connected so that is something to double check on all right but we should be able to we've got everything connected let's say yep there it goes so once it has made that connection there's your light Keep in mind, if you'd like to create another card, consider using your resources at home. Today's lights were actually from an old Christmas tree light that I had. These are the insides of that Christmas tree light. The foil can use any conductive material, so perhaps you can use some aluminum foil. And the button batteries you can find at any store, including the dollar store. Go ahead and get creative. Let's see what you can make. Electricity has played a vital part of our past, but it could play a different and even more important role in our future. Many more buildings are generating their own renewable electric power using solar cells and wind turbines. Electric cars using batteries and electricity instead of gasoline are being used. Solar cells converting light into electricity, which is stored in a big battery the possibilities are very exciting. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you've enjoyed your project and I look forward to seeing you in January with the next Science Rocks project. Goodbye for now.